I didn't make any drinks for this project because I just decided to jump right in. So basically this is kind of how I made my patterns for the robes is I looked at the reference material and then I would write down some stuff and then I would take measurements on my actual body just to kind of get it to match up. I had to do this a bunch of times and then the first patterns I made didn't really work out. I left those clips out this time, but this is basically what I did to make a pattern is I got a big sheet of paper and I physically drew it out and cut it out. I didn't have a big enough one for the bottom half of the robe, so I'm actually using gift wrap. Uh, it works pretty well. It's very flimsy because it's gift wrap, but it works well. Now I have fabric. I'm basically getting most of the wrinkles out. There's still a bunch of wrinkles, but you can't make everything perfect. Now, what am I doing here? Well, I'm basically using sidewalk chalk to outline my patterns on to the fabric so I know where to cut it out. Oh, here I am cutting it out. It's a pretty, like, straightforward process, but it's just very, very time consuming. This pinning, just this clip of pinning, took probably about 15 minutes just because I couldn't really decide on how I wanted to pin it, but I got it pinned and now here's an example of sewing. I didn't like include all of the sewing clips because you don't want to see that, I don't want to see that, no one wants to see that, but I left in the important ones like attaching the top and the bottom of the robe as seen here. Um, it's really weird to wrap your head around how I did this because I didn't even know what I was doing as I was doing it. I use the make it up as you go along method. It's not recommended that any of you use this if you're going to make something, but it works for me. Right now I'm cutting out the basically deep V that makes up the front of the robe where it actually opens and here I'm sewing it and kind of finishing off some of the edges so they have a less chance of fraying. And that's it. The whole project is done. It may seem simple, but it actually took like six or eight or nine hours to do. But I think it turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, here's the bottom half of the thing. As you can tell, I'm just wearing a regular belt right now. But in the next video, which you can click on somewhere, I will be making all his little accessories. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.